the Lindsay and Fix kitchen, um, but I'm not in my apron. I know this is so weird. That's because we're doing a Q&A video, Ask Me Anything. I'm so excited about this video. You guys have been requesting it for a long time. And if you don't know who I am, it's probably because you're not subscribed to my YouTube channel. So go tap that subscribe button and I'll announce the giveaway winner a little later in the video. So first, to get to know me a little bit better, we're gonna do like a quick fire 20 questions. Here we go. <laughs> um, pizza, yeah, pizza. Oh wait, uh, fettuccine alfredo with sun-dried tomatoes. Very close, no, tie for first. Pizza, fettuccine alfredo. Um, this is gonna sound really weird. I hate the flavoring of chipotle peppers. Like hot sauce that's flavored with chipotle or like salsa that has chipotle seasoning or chipotle peppers in it. Ugh. It like, it tastes like dirty feet to me or something. I don't know, so random. Lipstick, like 110% lipstick. Zac Efron, mm-mm-mm, call me. <laughs> uh, cookies and cream. Night owl, <laughs> guys, I'm the worst morning person ever. Um, probably the pink bow because I feel like it was made for me or I do the kissy winky face a lot. <laughs> um, and while we're on the subject, why is there not a cupcake emoji, you guys, seriously? Can we like band together to bring the cupcake emoji to life? <sighs> um, probably my height. I love being tiny and petite and I have like a whole closet full of six inch heels, but I would do anything for just like two inches. That's all I want. Just like two more inches. Uh, born in New York, moved to LA when I was a baby, so raised in LA, um, went to college in Santa Barbara, and back here in LA. Extra cheese, or veggie, um, just not Hawaiian. Oh, I, I'm not into the Hawaiian. <laughs> a lot of my friends call me Z, like Lynn Z. <laughs> um, my mom calls me Lynn's. Instagram for sure. At home, I'm a home potty, and that way you can like talk throughout the whole movie without disturbing other people. <laughs> I don't worry, I'll be happy. I don't worry, be happy now. <laughs> oh wait, 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 I actually have a really good one. The glass is not half full or half empty. The glass is refillable. Think about that. Uh, chocolate all day, every day, duh. Chocolate, chocolate, chocolate. Um, unfortunately, chronically 30 minutes late to everything. Um, water? Probably half and half. I have a zillion pairs of heels and wedges, but probably flats for during the day. French toast every time, drenched in syrup. Uh, let's see. It was a group text with some of my college girlfriends. All right, now let's get into the Ask Me Anything. Take one. Okay, so in the giveaway, I asked you guys to submit your questions for the Q&A, so we're gonna go through some of the most popular questions I got. Um, the first one was Faith L asked, what was the hardest video to film? Um, probably my ice cream sandwich cake, because all the bright lights were totally like melting the ice cream sandwiches, so I kept having to like stop filming, put it in the freezer, and then like bring it back out and continue, just so it wouldn't all like melt everywhere. That was definitely probably one of the hardest to film, like from a technical standpoint, um, because I do all the filming and everything myself. Do you have any hidden talents? Um, oh, okay, wait. Check the eyebrows, ready? Does that count? Is that a hidden talent? I don't know. <laughs> okay, where did you get your gorgeous pink pants? Ah! I get this question all the time, actually. Um, so I'm doing a video on DIY pink baking supplies. You guys are gonna be really excited about that one. I'm gonna do a whole like behind the scenes tour of my whole pink baking supply collection. Um, so stay tuned for that, it's gonna be really fun. How do you manage to never make a mess when you bake? <laughs> You make it look so fun and easy. Girlfriend, I'm not even gonna show you a behind the scenes of what my kitchen looks like for an average filming day. I make a huge mess. Um, that's just the magic of YouTube. 
Hey Lindsay Ann, my question is, what is your dream wedding cake? Well, believe it or not, I actually made my own wedding cake. Um, what I did is I had some sheet cakes ordered that I just had in the back in the kitchen and I bought like these styrofoam cake dummies in a bunch of different sizes and I covered them in fondant and I added like, you know, the lace fondant trim and brushed it with luster dust and added pearls and all my favorite things and then um, one of the tears was real. So, you know, we cut the cake and then they wheeled the cake back and then that's where they had all the sheet cakes in the kitchen and that's what they served. So that was a really cool experience to be able to make my own wedding cake. All right, next question. Hi, Lindsay Ann, was your mother also a baker? This is another question I get a lot. My mom actually was not a baker. She actually can make like a mean slice of toast with cheese and that's about it. <laughs> I love you, mom. She's literally like my biggest fan. Um, I'm really close with my mom, but she actually didn't teach me to bake. She doesn't know anything about baking, but she is my number one supporter and my biggest fan and I love her so much. Hey, Lindsay, hey. Uh, what's your favorite thing to bake or your favorite treat to eat? Um, well, when I was reading uh, some of the questions to my husband, he said, I hope you say your favorite thing to bake is chocolate chip cookies because chocolate chip cookies are his favorite. But honestly, my favorite thing to bake is probably cupcakes only because I've done it like so many times. So I'm so good at it by now. And then you can decorate them. And I'd love baking anything that you can decorate. And your favorite treat to eat would probably be a chocolate chip cookie sundae um, with like, you know, like a warm chocolate chip cookie with the ice cream melting on top and then like the hot fudge and the sprinkles and all the goodness and everything all for myself. Oh my gosh. This is a weird question, but have you ever thought of doing a beauty channel? Your makeup is always so beautiful. Thank you. Uh, it's actually not that weird of a question, surprising. I mean, it's weird because I'm a baking channel, but I actually get that question a lot. Um, I love doing hair and makeup and all kinds of like artsy stuff. So, I mean, if you guys are interested in like a Lindsay and beauty kind of thing, let me know and I'd be happy to share some of my, you know, tips and tricks and tutorials for ya. What's your favorite thing you created or baked on your channel? Oh my God, this is a hard one. Um, one thing that I love that I made is my DIY sprinkle blends only because I use them like all the time on so many things. What else? Um, my giant chocolate chip cookie ice cream sandwich. I thought it was really cool how I came up with the idea to use like the Hershey Kisses in place of chocolate chips to like make it ginormous. Um, Cause I had never seen that before and cookie ice cream sandwiches are like the best. So that was probably one of my favorites too. What do you do for a living? Well, I do YouTube, and then I have my website, lindsayandbakes.com, um, and then I also have another full-time job. I work at a preschool here in Los Angeles, so I do that Monday through Friday, um, and then I'm just like baking nights and weekends and filming videos and editing videos. I'm a one-woman show, so I do everything myself, um, so I'm definitely really busy all the time, but I'm really lucky. I don't take any of it for granted because I'm able to do what I love, and not many people can say that, so. So I definitely feel really blessed that I love what I do. How and when did you first fall in love with baking? So this is probably the most popular question I got and I actually didn't fall in love with baking until a little bit later in life. Um, I was a little bit older, it wasn't until about um, I was out of college already until I really fell in love with baking. You know, I wasn't like in the kitchen as soon as I was old enough to hold a whisk. I didn't have, you know, grandparents to pass down recipes to me or anything like that. Um, I'm all self-taught. I learned after college. It was really um, around Thanksgiving. You know, I do like the whole Thanksgiving dinner. That's like my thing. Um, and I was just like surfing the web for new recipes and I found like these cute miniature pumpkin pies. And I was like, oh my God, this is so cool. Why didn't I think to like miniaturize pumpkin pies? And then it just kind of like opened up this world of all the possibilities of baking and how I can transform like traditional desserts and just like cutify everything. And that's when I really fell in love. I think I like was sitting on my mom's couch for like the entire night and she woke up for work the next morning and I was like still there sitting on the couch like browsing recipes and searching for ideas. And that's really what sparked my interest in baking and you know, from there on out, I just fell in love and that was it. Were you nervous for your first video? Oh my gosh, you guys, I'm like so embarrassed for some of my older videos that are still up on YouTube. I was really nervous. I think my first video, I had to do like a thousand takes. Oh my gosh, I was like so stodgy. I'm so embarrassing. <laughs> Don't watch my old videos. 
How do you stay so happy you truly shine? Oh, thank you. That's really sweet. Um, you know, I'm really blessed. I get to do what I love and this is what makes me happy. So you guys get to see this little snippet of my life. But you know, baking makes me happy. Chatting with you guys makes me happy. Like when you write me sweet comments or when you like share a picture with me on Instagram of a recreation of one of my recipes, like that makes me so happy. You guys have no idea the impact you have on me. I would have loved to see you on Cupcake Wars. How was that experience? Oh my gosh, I get this question all the time, you guys. Um, yes, I was on Cupcake Wars. I won an episode in season one, and then I was on a special champions episode, best of the best in season two. I have all the details on my website. Um, but they actually play reruns all the time on Food Network and on Cooking Channel. The time is real, you guys. I like literally was like shaking to the very end, and then my second episode, I was like a little more comfortable because I had been through it. Um, but it was really fun and really rewarding and just really cool to have been on television um, and just like to have that forever was really cool. You look like a Barbie doll. <laughs> How do you manage to stay slim? Please share some tips that won't involve leaving cupcakes out. First, let me say I'm not like a nutritionist or an expert in the field, so don't take anything I say like as hard you know, advice. Um, this is just what I do and what works for me. I definitely wish I could tell you that, you know, everything in moderation and just have a little bite of this and a little bite of that. But that doesn't work for me because once I have like a little, a little bite, I like want more and I feel like, you know, if I'm gonna have something, I really want to indulge in it and enjoy it. I don't just want like a bite. I want like the whole thing. I work out a lot. I take classes at the gym. I do everything. I do like dance and spinning and weights and cardio. And I try to eat pretty clean. Like I cook healthy dinners. As long as you kind of have some sort of balance and like eat semi-healthy and work out and kind of, have that balance, I think, um, you know, that's what I do and that's what works for me. How many siblings do you have? Um, I have one sibling, I have a brother, he's three and a half years younger than me. Hey Bri! <laughs> um, he actually used to do the filming and editing for me when I very first started and just helped me with everything. Shout out to my brother for kind of getting this whole YouTube thing off the ground and helping me out um, until I was able to kind of buy my own camera and learn how to edit and learn how to film and do all that kind of stuff on my own. Your favorite dessert and the worst baking disaster. Um, my favorite dessert, uh, the chocolate chip ice cream cookie sundae that I've talked about in detail. Um, the worst baking disaster, oh my gosh, you guys. So here's a little story for you. I was baking a cake for my husband, who was my boyfriend at the time, his friend's birthday. I baked the cake and then I went to transport the cake to the serving dish. The whole thing fell apart. It was a nightmare. I had to run to the store to get more ingredients. The story does not stop there. When I came home, this is when I was living at my mom's house, the dog, Little Amber, ate the freaking chocolate soccer ball cake from off the table. Dogs can't have chocolate. We had to like rush her to like the, you know, emergency 24 hour vet place. This was like at 11 p.m. They had to like give her that stuff that makes them throw up to get it out of her. It was like the worst disaster ever. We went back home. It was like, you know, 12.30 in the morning at that point. I had to remake, you know, the whole entire cake, do the whole soccer ball, do the whole thing. I was up to like three in the morning making this cake. That was probably the biggest disaster ever, but I will never forget it. All right, guys, that was fun. Um, so that's all the questions for the Q&A. So now we're gonna pick the giveaway winner. And thank you guys so much for everybody who participated in the giveaway and left me a comment. I seriously read all of your comments. I love you all so much. You guys, I appreciate you more than anything. So thank you for participating in the giveaway and for being here with me today. Um, so now as promised, we're gonna pick a winner. So here we go. And this is picking a winner at random from the Q&A question entries in the comment section of my giveaway video. And the winner is Megan Sistrunk. Congratulations, I'm so excited for you. Just go ahead and email me and I'll get you all your prizes shipped to you. And if you didn't win this time, don't worry. My goal this year is to get to 100,000 subscribers so we can do another big giveaway for you guys. Even bigger, even better. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.